Hey guys, today we're diving into a crucial topic that everyone should be aware of, the lasting power of attorney or LPA for short. Now, an LPA is a legal document that allows you to appoint one or more individuals known as donees, D-O-N-E-E-S, to make decisions on your behalf in the event you lose your mental capacity. This means that if you're unable to make decisions for yourself due to an accident, illness, or age-related decline, your chosen donees can step into your shoes to manage your affairs. There are two types of powers in the LPA. The personal welfare section covers decisions about your health care, medical treatment, and daily care. The property and affairs section covers decisions about your finances, property, and business matters. Creating an LPA ensures that your wishes are respected and that your chosen trusted individuals have the legal authority to act in your best interests. Without an LPA, your family and your loved ones may face stress and difficulties uh, and delays in managing your affairs in the event you lose your mental capacity because they have to make an application with a court called appointment of deputy in order to get a deputyship order. If you give your donee the power to make personal welfare decisions, he can make decisions about your health care, medical treatment, living arrangement, and other aspects of your personal well-being. For example, if you're hospitalized and un unable to communicate, your donee can decide on your medical treatments based on your preferences and best interests. The second type of power relates to property and affairs. This covers decisions related to your finances, property, and business matters. Your donee can uh, manage your bank account, pay your bills, collect benefits, and even buy or sell property. You should know that you can choose to uh, give either one or both types of powers to your donees, depending on your needs. You can also appoint the same or different donees for each type of power. Uh, this ensures that you have the right people making the right decisions for you. To make an LPA, you must be at least 21 years of age and have the mental capacity to understand the implications of creating one. This means that you need to be able to understand, retain, and weigh the information necessary to make decisions about your LPA and communicate the, your decisions clearly. It's also important to note that making an LPA is a voluntary process. No one can force you to create an LPA or dictate who your donor should be. The decision should be yours alone, made without any pressure or influence from others. So for you older folks out there, don't let your children persuade or coerce you into making an LPA. That's all for today. See you in the next video.